The Israeli government is outraged by harsh criticism coming from the UN Secretary General. Ban Ki-moon is condemning Israeli settlement activity and has seemingly implied that the latest wave of Palestinian terror can be justified by Israeli occupation. Stabbings, vehicle attacks and shootings by Palestinians targeting Israeli civilians, all of which I condemn, and clashes between Palestinians and Israeli security forces have continued to claim lives. But security measures alone will not stop the violence. They cannot address the profound sense of alienation and despair driving some Palestinians, especially young people. The full force of the law must be brought to bear on all those committing crimes with a system of justice applied equally for Israelis and Palestinians alike. The UN Secretary General claims that Israel's settlement activity is undermining chances for a two-state solution. Continued settlement activities are an affront to the Palestinian people and to the international community. They rightly, rightly raise fundamental questions about Israel's commitment to a two-state solution. I'm deeply troubled by reports today that the Israeli government has approved plans for over 150 new homes in illegal settlements in the occupied West Bank. This is combined with its announcement last week declaring 370 acres in the West Bank, south of Jericho, and so-called state land. These provocative acts are bound to increase the growth of settler populations, further heighten tensions, and undermine any prospects for a political road ahead. Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu has blasted Ban Ki-moon's comments, claiming that his words bolster terrorism. Netanyahu says the UN has lost its neutrality and moral influence, and the Secretary General is only making it worse. אין הצדקה לטרור, נקודה. הרוצחים הפלסטינים לא רוצים לבנות מדינה, הם רוצים להשמיד מדינה, והם אומרים זאת בריש גלי. הם רוצים לרצוח יהודים באשר הם, והם אומרים זאת בריש גלי. הם לא רוצחים למען השלום, והם לא רוצחים למען זכויות אדם. האו"ם מזמן איבד את הניטרליות שלו ואת הכוח המוסרי שלו, והדברים הללו של המזכ"ל לא משפרים את מצבו. Israel's ambassador to the United Nations has accused the UN of applying a double standard when it comes to Israel. Not once were the lives of Israelis murdered by terrorists recognized by the Council. No condemnation, no expression of solidarity, not even a statement of concern. The facts don't lie. The Security Council has been hypocritical when it comes to Israel. The road to peace is long and difficult, but Israel is committed to make every effort. Yet the Palestinian delegate to the United Nations says peace is not feasible if Israel continues to expand its settlements in the West Bank. We are all aware that the Israeli settlement enterprise in all its manifestation is the most formidable obstacle to the peace we seek. Therefore, it has to be, to be removed from its path if we seriously want to open doors for a meaningful process that would lead to the end of occupation, the independence of our state, and saving the two-state solution.